Austria, the birthplace of Mozart is filled with historic grandeur. Located in the picturesque landscapes of Central Europe, this land is adorned with formidable fortresses, towering stone walls, epic towers, and grandiose castles. So, let's quickly explore the 12 most amazing castles in Austria. Number 12. Ott Kassel. This castle, also known as Berg Ort, a medieval castle located in the town of Gmunden on the Transee Lake in Upper Austria. Castle has a history dating back to the 10th century and it has undergone various renovations and modifications over the centuries. It served both defensive and residential purposes during different periods. It is situated on a small island near the shore of Lake Transee. It is accessible by a wooden bridge, giving it a picturesque and idyllic setting. Fort Castle features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque and Gothic elements. The castle's structure includes a keep, towers, and courtyards, showcasing its historical and architectural significance. Number 11. Axstein Castle. Also known as Berg Axstein, is a medieval castle located on the right bank of the Danube River in the Wachau region of Lower Austria. It has a history dating back to the 12th century and was originally built as a fortress to control and protect the trade routes along the Danube. The castle is perched on a rocky outcrop overlooking the Danube River, providing strategic views of the surrounding landscape. Its location makes it a prominent landmark in the Wachau Valley. Agstein Castle features medieval architecture and has undergone various modifications over the centuries. The castle includes a main keep, defensive walls, towers, and courtyards. Number 10. Hartheim Castle. Also known as Schloss Hartheim is a castle at Alkoven in Upper Austria, 14 kilometers from Linz. It was built by Jacob von Aspen in 1600 and it is a prominent Renaissance castle in the country. The castle is historically known for its association with the Nazi euthanasia program during World War II. The facility was repurposed by the Nazis as a euthanasia center in 1940. The official name for the program was Action T4, and its purpose was to systematically eliminate individuals deemed physically or mentally unfit according to the Nazi ideology of eugenics. After the war, Schloss Hartheim became a memorial and educational site to remember the victims of the Nazi euthanasia program and to educate the public about the atrocities committed during that time. Number 9. Grafnig Castle. This is a historic castle located in the municipality of Grafnig, Lower Austria. Castle has a history dating back to the 12th century when it was originally a fortress. The castle underwent various renovations and expansions over the centuries with significant changes in the 19th century. The castle features a unique blend of architectural styles including medieval, gothic, and renaissance elements. Its most notable architectural addition is the Romantic Style Tower, which was added during the 19th century renovations. Surrounded by extensive parklands and gardens, the landscape was redesigned in the 19th century in an English garden style. Number 8. Forchtenstein Castle, also known as Berg Forchtenstein, is a historic fortress located in the Rosaline Mountains of Beginland. Forchtenstein Castle has a history dating back to the 15th century. It was originally built as a fortress to protect against Turkish invasions and served as the stronghold of the Esterhazy family. It is a prime example of medieval fortress architecture. It features defensive walls, towers, and a central keep. Over the centuries, the castle underwent renovations and expansions, incorporating elements of Renaissance and Baroque styles. Number 7. Ho Hosterwitz Castle. This is a medieval fortress located on a limestone rock situated in the state of Carinthia in southern Austria. 
It is perched atop a 160-meter high crag and is one of the country's most impressive and well-preserved castles. The castle has a long history dating back to the 9th century, with its current form largely dating from the 16th century. It was originally built for defensive purposes and played a crucial role in protecting the region from invasions. The castle boasts a unique and picturesque appearance with its well-preserved medieval architecture. The castle consists of multiple gates, towers, drawbridges, and courtyards, all connected by a winding pathway that zigzags up the rock. The structure is surrounded by defensive walls, making it an imposing sight. You can reach the castle by ascending a 620-meter-long pathway with 14 gates, each representing a different historical period. The pathway offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside and provides a sense of the castle's defensive design. Number 6. Kreuzenstein Castle Kreuzenstein Castle is a medieval fortress located near Leobendorf in Lower Austria, about 20 kilometers north of Vienna. It is a Gothic revival castle is known for its collection of medieval torture instruments. The construction of Kreuzenstein Castle began in the 12th century, but the castle as it stands today is a 19th century reconstruction. The original medieval castle was largely destroyed during the Thirty Years' War and later abandoned. In the 19th century, Count Nepomuk Wilczek undertook a reconstruction project using various architectural elements from other medieval structures. Kreuzenstein Castle is known for its eclectic architectural style, blending medieval and Renaissance elements. The reconstruction incorporated parts of other historical buildings, giving the castle a unique appearance. The castle features towers, walls, and a courtyard. The castle houses an extensive collection of art, weaponry, armor, and historical artifacts. The collection reflects the passion of Count Nepomuk Wilczek for preserving medieval heritage. Number 5. Hugh Hemmerfen Castle Often called the sister of Hugh Henselsberg Fortress is a stunning medieval castle perched on a hilltop overlooking the market town of Werfen. The castle is situated approximately 40 kilometers south of Salzburg. Hugh Hemmerfen Castle is perched on a high rock, providing strategic views of the surrounding landscapes. The castle has a rich history dating back to the 11th century. It was initially built as a defensive fortress by the Archbishops of Salzburg. Over the centuries, it underwent various renovations and expansions. The castle features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque and Gothic elements. Its well-preserved structure includes towers, walls, and courtyards that offer a glimpse into medieval European architecture. Number 4. Hohensalzberg Fortress This is one of the largest and best-preserved medieval fortresses in Europe. It is situated on the Festungsberg Hill overlooking the city of Salzburg. The construction of the fortress began in 1077 by Archbishop Gebhard von Helfenstein. Over the centuries, it underwent expansions and renovations, reaching its current form by the late 17th century. The fortress features a mix of architectural styles, including Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance elements. Its impressive structure includes walls, towers, courtyards, and the iconic medieval castle appearance. The complex includes various sections like the High Castle, Straight Tower, Fortress Museum, and the Medieval Prince Archbishop's Chambers. The Golden Hall is a highlight, known for its richly decorated interior. Also can enjoy panoramic views of Salzburg and the surrounding Alps from the fortress. Number 3. Hofburg Palace this is a historic palace complex in Vienna, with a rich history spanning over several centuries. The origins of Hofburg Palace date back to the medieval period when it served as the imperial palace for the Habsburg dynasty. Over the centuries, it underwent expansions, renovations, and additions reflecting different architectural styles. The palace complex showcases a blend of architectural styles, including Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and neoclassical elements. The diverse architecture is a result of the palace's continuous development over the centuries.
From 1438 to 1918, the Hofburg served as the winter residence of the Habsburg emperors, witnessing coronations, marriages, and pivotal moments in European history. Today, the Hofburg houses the Austrian presidency, symbolizing the continuity of this historic palace as a center of power. Hofburg Palace is a central and iconic symbol of Vienna's imperial history. It continues to be an important cultural and historical site. Number 2. Belvedere Palace This is a historic complex in Vienna consisting of two Baroque palaces, the Upper and Lower Belvedere, set within a beautiful landscaped garden. The palaces were built in the 18th century as a summer residence for Prince Eugene of Savoy, a military commander and statesman. The Belvedere Palace is renowned for its impressive architecture, art collections, and stunning gardens. The palace complex is surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens with fountains, sculptures, and geometrically arranged flower beds. The gardens provide a picturesque setting and connect the upper and lower Belvedere. The Belvedere Palace is a major tourist attraction in Vienna. Number 1. Chimburn Palace this is a magnificent Baroque palace located in Vienna with the history dating back to the 17th century. It was initially a hunting lodge for the Habsburg monarchs and later became a summer residence. The palace is an outstanding example of Baroque architecture and design. It features grand facades, opulent interiors, and beautifully landscaped gardens. It has numerous rooms and apartments, each with different architectural styles and periods. Notable rooms include the Great Gallery, the Mirror Room, and the Millions Room. The palace is surrounded by extensive and meticulously maintained gardens. The Baroque gardens feature fountains, statues, flower beds, and pathways. It is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and considered as one of the most important cultural monuments in Austria. to end of this journey. We hope you've been inspired to add these remarkable destinations to your travel bucket list. Your support means the world to us, so don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the adventure and subscribe to our channel for more exciting journeys ahead. Until next time, happy travels!